Okay, now let's do video number two. Video number two, we will talk about the hedging strategy of uh, by using uh, bond futures or FMG. Okay, uh, so hedging first hedging that we will do is long hedge. Long hedge uh, is done when will be uh, executed if you want to buy MGS in the future. Bila kita nak beli MGS, kita takut apa? Kita takut interest will fall by the time we want to buy or want to invest in MGS. Why? When interest falls, what happened? The price or, or yes, the price of MGS will increase. Okay, so the cost of investment akan naik lah. Okay, so how to hedge your position? We will do long hedge. Let's take a look at this example. Assume it is now February 2020 and CMN banks intend to purchase or to invest 50 million ringgit in 5 years MGS when they are issued in one month's time which is in March. Okay, the current interest rate is 8.5% and the March FMG is now trading at 112.95. Okay, takutnya apa? Kalau masa nak invest nanti, interest akan jatuh. The bank is concerned about a fall in the interest rate between now and when the MGS are issued in March. Should this occur, let's say this happen, it will increase the price of the new MGS bond uh, that the bank wishes to buy. So, illustrate how the bank can hedge its position and determine whether the hedging is effective or not. If the interest memang interest rate betul-betul jatuh to 8%, the FMG5 pula increases to 113.13 in March. Dia memang akan jadi macam tu. Kalau interest jatuh from 8.5 to 8%, what will happen? The FMG price or index will increase. Sebelum ni berapa? 112.95. Okay, because of the uh, because of the a decrease in interest rate, the index dia dah naik to 113.13. So, to solve this question, first and foremost, of course, you have to calculate the number of contract lah. You take the value of the bond portfolio, how much you want to invest, 50 million ringgit, times with times with contract size, how much, 100,000 ringgit, you will get 500 contracts. And then, what you have to do is to prepare the outline of your strategy. Of course, here we have cash market or bond market, Okay. Uh, uh, and then here we have futures market or bursa Malaysia derivative berhad. So what happened in the cash market today? You expect to buy or to invest, boleh je nak letak invest, 50 million ringgit in uh, of 5 years MGS in March. But you're afraid the interest, will, the interest rate will fall. If this happen, what will happen? It will increase the cost of investment. The cost of purchase will increase. Okay? So write down what is the current interest rate and what happened today in the futures market. You will open your position by doing long H. You will buy. Sebab apa buy? Sebab index masih rendah. Sebab interest belum jatuh. Kalau interest jatuh, index akan naik. So you will enter long H. You buy 500 March FMG contract at 112.95. Later in cash market, barulah you betul-betul invest or buy. You can write down invest or buy. 50 million, 5 years MGS at that uh at that current interest lah interest waktu tu later dah jadi berapa 8% oh index dia bersamaan dengan 113.13 normally the value of bond dan value of uh, FMG sama eh 113.13 tapi normally kita mention dalam bentuk interest lah so what happen in the futures market you will close out your position you will sell 500 March FMG 5 contract at 113.13 so let's take a look at the determination of profit or loss ah ok uh, so that I explained tadi, the price of bond will equals to the price, normally lah, will equals to the price of FMG. Ada juga case, uh, dia bagi nilai yang berbeza, pun tak ada masalah. Kita akan guna apa yang dia bagi, uh, gitu. Okay, now let's take a look at the determination of hedging profit or loss. Of course, we will calculate the futures position first. Normally, saya akan kira futures position dulu, either you gain profit or you lose. Okay. So, like always, always selling price minus buying price times 100 basis point. Chapter ni sama macam FKB3 eh, times 100 basis point. You times the number of contract, 500 contract and you this one for FMG, you will time 10 ringgit. Every single change in the index equals equals to 10 ringgit. Okay, so you will gain okay 90,000 ringgit. And then... In the cash market pula, kita akan kira cost of purchase. This is your outflow ya anak-anak. Be careful. This is your outflow. How to calculate this? Lebih kurang sama macam FKLI dulu. But tak apa. Don't mix up. Just focus on this one. What you will do to calculate the cost of purchase? You will take in ending index. You divide with beginning index. And then you time with the bond portfolio value. Okay. 
right? So the ending index dah jadi 113.13. You divide with 112.95. You times 50 million ringgit. So as you can see, the amount that you will get is how much? 50.079681 million macam tu. Alright, so we can conclude that the value or the cost of purchase the MGS has increased. You cuma prepare 5 juta. Tapi because of the index dah naik, maka cost of investment ni dah bertambah sebanyak 79,000 kat sini. 79,000 lebih lah. Are you with me? Ha, so the value or the cost to purchase or to invest in the MGS has increased. But you don't forget kat sini kita dah cover dah sebahagian cost untuk invest dalam bond tu dengan uh, futures profit that we made how much we made just now 90,000 ringgit so we will calculate the net effect so net effect be careful eh uh, profit is actually your inflow this one is cost of investment or cost of purchase there will be outflow so jangan tambah dua-dua saya tak kisah macam saya sebut sebelum ni ini nak tolak yang ni ke ini nak tolak yang ni ke yang penting dua-dua jangan tambah so as you can see the value of or the cost of investment or purchase has decreased Okay, daripada 50.079 juta something ni kepada only 49.989 million something. Okay, why? Because you dah buat untung 90,000 in the futures market. So then, we will calculate the effective price. How to calculate the effective price? Take the net effect that you get just now. Divide with the bond portfolio value, 50 million times the ending index. Okay, you will get 113.11. And nampak macam sikit je beza dia. Kalau... Uh, tak tak H index you 113.13 dengan hedging you are actually investing in the bond portfolio pada index yang lebih rendah walaupun nampak sikit only 0.02 je different but this is juta-juta tau 0.02 tu kalau times dengan juta-juta ada -juta, banyak juga actually we have safe alright the amount of investment Okay, what we can conclude, the hedging effectively help the bank to purchase or to invest in the bond at lower index which is only at 113.11 compared to investing at 113.13. So, that is the long H. Let's take to add the time that we have, 7 minutes. Okay, let's continue with um, short H. Short H pula, you want to sell your bond, your bond portfolio in the future. Bila nak jual, kita takut interest naik. Bila interest naik, by the time you want to sell your bond portfolio, harga dia jatuh. So, what happen? Your revenue or your sales from selling of your bond portfolio will decrease. Let's take a look at this example. Today is February 2020. A fund manager of MXN Corporation is expected to readjust. Okay, the corporation uh, bonds portfolio by selling its old 5 years MTS. Dia nak jual its 5 years uh, MTS. So, he's concerned about a rise in the interest rate between now and then. Okay, by the time they want to, he, uh, the company want to sell the bond. Because this situation will push down the value of the bond. Of course, interest naik, they akan push down the value of the bond. Assume today, March FMG5 is trading at 115.33. Itu nilai dia sekarang, FMG, March FMG3 ni. And the corporation has 10 million uh, ringgit of 5 years MGS. As, 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 expected, as expected in March, interest rate has risen from 5.5% to 6.5% per annum in March 2020. And March FMG pula jatuh. Bila interest naik, March FMG akan jatuh. Sebelum ni berapa? 115.33 decrease to 114.55. So, illustrate how the bank can hedge its position. Alright, and determine whether the hedging is effective, effective or not by calculating the effective price. Okay, first and foremost, calculate the number of contract. Okay, 10 million uh, ringgit value of bond portfolio divided with 100,000 ringgit. So, you will get 100 contract. So, this is the outline that you have to prepare. You expect to sell 10 million of, F, uh, of 5 years MGS in March, but your afraid interest will rise and this will decrease the value of the bond. Okay, current interest is 5.5. So, what happened in the futures market? Harga masih tinggi lagi sebab interest belum uh, naik. Okay, bila interest dah naik, harga akan jatuh. So, since the FMG5 still high in value, so kita akan sell. Okay, so later in the cash market, what will happen? We will sell the 5 years MGS by the interest 6.5%. And in the futures market, you will close out your position by buying back the futures contract by the harga 114.55. And again, nilai uh, bond, actually we uh, index of bond, kita uh, assume dia sama dengan index of FMG. Okay? Alright, determination of hedging profit or loss. Okay, macam biasa, selling price minus buying price. 
time 100 basis point time 100 contract time 10 ringgit you will gain 78,000 in the futures market and this one is inflow why because you sell your bond portfolio bila sell dia akan jadi inflow lah sell uh, sell but lah sales or revenue so ending index dah rendah 114.55 beginning index is 115.33 with times with the bond portfolio value as you can see you will get 9.9 .9 million something Okay, 9.932368. Okay, so as you can see, the value or the sales of the MTS has decreased. Okay, ha, kita jual, kita target nak dapat 10 juta, dapat kurang. But, kita dah gain 78,000 in the futures market. Kalau kita tak ada position in futures market, kita akan merely dapat 9.9 .9 something ni saja. Tapi, because you smart, you enter futures market and take uh, your position there so you gain 78000 so the net effect ah kali ni kena tambahlah dua-dua the profit is your inflow and that's it then and this one in the cash market pula is your revenue or sales market inflow tambahlah dua-dua jangan tolak pula okay you will get 10 million 10368 so to calculate the effective price again take the net effect divide with the bond value original bond value times with the ending index basic actually you are selling your bond futures, okay, uh, your bond futures pula, your bond portfolio at higher index, uh, berapa, 114.67. So, what can we say, the hedging effective, effectively help the bank to sell the bond or the 5 years MGS at higher index which is 114.67 instead of selling it at only 114.55. So, please do hedging question, we have June 2016 question 4B. And also we have June 2014 question 4C. I see you in video number 3.